Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. Santi. Honorable Senators, there are a few other Senators who would like to maybe make a comment. So I'll guide that uh, we do it maybe two minutes so that uh, all this where you can get a chance. Because I can see some of them were training even in the morning and they don't get a chance. Let's go to Sengo Karunda Beth. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to add my voice to what my colleagues have said. I'll start by supporting your statement about uh, uh, Meru, um, the, the abduction, the killing of uh, Daniel Mudiani, alias um, Sniper. Mr. Speaker, it breaks my heart as a mother of sons to see that our children, our young men, who are creating employment for themselves by content creation and becoming bloggers, um, being abducted and killed, and no serious immediate action is taken. Mr. Speaker, they say justice delayed is justice denied. Why has it taken so long for this matter to be concluded and for those who perpetrated this to be brought to book? Why is it taking too long? It is a process that has happened elsewhere and conclusion is done. Why is it that when it comes to Meru, it is taking too long? Mr. Speaker, for me, it is uh, really, really concerning me to see that Meru is on the spot for always wrong things. We had the governor for Meru twice in this house for wrong things. And now we are discussing about Meru because of justice delayed about Sniper. Mr. Speaker, I would urge the Ministry for Interior and our friend, uh, Honorable Kendiki, is a neighbor to Meru County, that he makes sure action is taken immediately, the perpetrators are brought to book, and justice is served for the family, the wife, the parents, the relatives, and the friends of Daniel Muthiani, alias Sniper. Mr. Speaker, if we allow as a house this to continue, we don't know who is next. We don't know who other young, young man is going to be taken, killed, and things are just put and swept under the carpet. We need quick action to bring this issue to conclusion. Mr. Speaker, allow me again also to comment on the issue of accidents on, the, on our roads. Uh, a statement that was brought by the Senator for Mombasa County. It is concern, uh, of great concern that in our roads there is a lot of disorder, Mr. Speaker especially the menace brought by border border operators. I would say they call them rogue operators of border borders. The accidents that are happening mainly could be because of drunk drivers, fatigued drivers, maybe drivers who could have even bought their driving licenses, and others who go to shoddy driving schools that are run in this country. Mr. Speaker, we need some order. I will call on the MTSA to move with speed as well, to check and call the drivers in this country to order by even uh, doing strict following of their licenses. And even if drivers require refresher courses, that will be done to ensure that we camp several accidents. Mr. Speaker, other cause of these accidents could be the, the state of the roads. It could be uh, because of our discipline on the roads. Mr. Speaker, it is important for action to be taken to ensure that we save lives in this country and we don't lose young lives like what happened about the 11 students of Kenyatta University. I pass my condolences to the bereaved families. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mohamed Abdara Shakira. Santo Mishima Speaker. 
kwa kunipatia hii fursa na mimi kuchangia kidogo katika hoja ya ajali za barabara. Mheshimiwa spika ajali za barabara zinaweza kupunguzwa ikiwa sharia itafuatwa kikamilifu. Sharia ya kwanza ambayo haifuatwi kikamilifu ni ufungaji wa mishipi kwenye magari utakuta watu wanadharau sana hilo jambo na ni jambo ambalo linaweza kuokoa maisha na ni muhimu sana hizo senator Shakila what is nimemaliza just know it just a moment yes senator thank you mr speaker uh, nitu nikubalia nitumie Kiswahili tafadhali uh, nataka kumuuliza kupitia kwako senator Shakila kama anazungumzia sharia ama sheria manake bwana speaker sharia ni sheria ya Kiislamu je anazungumzia sharia ama sheria asante bwana speaker asante mheshimiwa speaker sharia na sheria hazina tofauti ni ulimi wako vile unapenda kuongea ukitaka kuongea sheria ama sheria inamaanisha hivyo hivyo yote kawaida Sawa, kwa hivyo ukitaka kujua zaidi nione nyuma ya tent ni kufunze mengi. <laughs> Mheshimiwa speaker, uh, pia ajali zingine tu utakuta nchi kama Rwanda, boda boda inabeba mtu mmoja na wote wanavaa helmet. Lakini hapa Kenya boda boda inabeba watu wa nne wa tano na wakianguka wanafariki wote. Hawafuati sharia za kuvaa zile makofia ambazo zinachunga maisha ikiwa umepata ajali. Kwa hivyo pia enforcement ya law ni muhimu sana itekelezwe ili hii ajali za barabara zipunguzwe. Matrafiki barabarani unakuta wanachukua mahongo. Anakwambia tu akikuta scratch kwa gari yako, hii gari mbona imekwaruzwa hapa? toa kitu kidogo lakini hawawezi kuelewa kwamba hii gari pengine iko na shida na ni njia gani serikali itaweka kuhakikisha kwamba magari yanayotembea barabarani ni ya salama na yako sawa na yako safe kwa sababu utakuta magari mabovu yanatembea barabarani na ndio yanaoleta maajali gari linaenda bila brake gari linaenda Seneta Shakila Abdala sijui Na nina mengi mheshimiwa ningetaka kuchangia hizo hoja zingine zote maana hapo na yeye hapo na haki kwa Ya mazingira pia ni mambo mabaya hasa Sijui ni jambo gani angependa kujua zaidi kwa Kiswahili tu uh, Mr Speaker sir The standing orders does not exist in futility or in vain Standing order number 98 I have seen repeatedly my sister Seneta Shakila repeating by saying you may attend you could save i thought in our standing orders if you have insisted on using either kiswahili like ladama did today in the morning or use uh, english is it in order to interchangeably use the words yet our standing orders uh, state that if you start with english you use with english if you start with kiswahili you proceed with kiswahili is it in order for her to proceed that way Tenti kwa Kiswahili ni tent bwana speaker Tenti kwa Kiswahili ni tent Ningependa also ku, pia kuchangia juu ya neema Neema wa mambo ya mazingira Mazingira ni kitu muhimu sana mheshimiwa speaker tunaelewa uharibifu wa mazingira unaleta magonjwa na unaleta mambo mengi ambayo kwamba ni hasara kwa binadamu lakini unakuta neema wako na tabia ya kutoa leseni kiholela bila kufikiria mikakati ambayo ingewekwa kudhibiti zile madhara ambayo angeletwa na yule mradi ambao unakuja kuletwa. Hatukatai miradi kwenye nchi, hatukatai wawekezaji, lakini tunasema 